Look at me go! <laughs> There. Thanks, parttimehero.com. Still don't know what this hero thing you're talking about is. What? You mean part-time hero didn't send you? Da -da -da -da. Never fear. Part-time hero is here. Huh? So this year's our bad guy, huh? Just look at him. Yep. Got the classic thug tells. My hungry gaze, low life outfit. What is it with that hair? Looks like he set off a bomb in front of his face. Actually, this guy right here, he... Say not another word. For the glory of part-time heroes everywhere, I will vanquish this villain post-haste. Now put up your dukes. I'm no stranger to fisticuffs. Just the battle is on. Right. Get this out. I'll 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 feel this one. Yeah. I'm not that. One fight? Come on now! Yeah. Have fun with this. Watch this. Let's go. You're in it now. You're gonna get stomped. Let's go! Get cocky. Check this out. Here we go. Let's go. Try this on the side. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. You're gonna get stomped. Have fun with this. Take your best shot. I'm up. Let's see. I got this. Going in. Want some of this? Yeah. Get a line. Come on now. at all man he's right this guy here he rescued me just now he rescued you what are you trying to say
<laughs> so it was all just a big misunderstanding. Sorry about that. I can't do much in the way of an apology, but I'd be happy to treat you to some tea or what have you. How's that make up for anything? I went through two fights just now. You know what? You're right. I beg your pardon. Maybe I should introduce myself. I'm the president of Part-Time Hero Incorporated. Please, call me Hero. Fun fact, I named this company both after myself and the concept of a hero. <laughs> so clever, I know. Okay, I'll ask again. What is this part-time hero thing? Uh, <clears throat> Parttimehero.com offers a revolutionary service that puts you in touch with a hero, all from the comfort of your smartphone. It puts you in touch with a hero? That's what we call you when you register. You'll be taking on quests that people in need post. Upon accepting, it's your job to dash onto the scene and save the day. The concept is... Well, it's an odd job service anyone can use. Uh, and it doesn't take much to start. You could choose to find pets or people if you'd rather stay out of trouble. I promise, it's rewarding work. Huh. I gotta ask, though. Why make this service if there are already others like it? What sets you guys apart? Well, what really sets us apart? Well, it's our mission to clean up the town, stopping trouble before it starts. So it's like bounty hunting, then? In a way, yes. What you did just now, fighting off those thugs, that was actually a quest posted by a client. Ijincho, as you know, has an exorbitantly high crime rate. That's why I started this thing up. And what do you know? <laughs> it works! Makes sense. Now I know why that guy thought I was all part-time heroed out. Well, that's another thing. The fact that there are still good, honest people like you out there, it reassures me. I'd say you're one of the few real heroes left in the world. Yeah, all I did was punch a guy who was starting to piss me off. Anyway, see ya. Wait, 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 please, just a minute. What now? Well, if it's not too much to ask, would you be willing to work for me as a part-time hero? So you want me as your muscle? That it? Essentially. We've been getting rave reviews, so we always have an influx of new quests. But since true heroes are in short supply, it means we're short-staffed. The biggest struggle is finding someone capable of actually winning a fight. Since these heroes are rare, a lot of our clients are still in desperate need of help. This city is full of crime. People just don't know what's waiting for them out there. Believe me, I want to help as much as I can, but I'm only one man. And that's where I come in, huh? You've got more than what it takes. Above all, you look out for the little guy and let no evil go unpunished. We need people like you. At my company and on the streets, you'll receive compensation, of course, it's a job that feels satisfying and pays well. So what do you say? Will you keep this city safe for all of us? All right, sign me up. Not sure how much help I can be, but why the hell not? That's what I like to hear. Okay, then. Let's rescue this city together. Looking forward to it. Oh. And I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga-san! Got it. Then allow me to fill you in on the details. That's about it. Now get out there and save the day, hero. Right on. I like where this is going. Could always use some extra cash. And it's nice being called a hero. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Okay. Okay. Yo. Hmm. 
Got it. We gonna fight some more? Hey. Hey. Hold on. Hmm? Listen. Okay. Yeah. 
Hey. You. Yo. Damn. 
Hey. Listen. What? Yo. Who's hungry? Me. Me. Oh, <clears throat> tasty. Arigatou gozaimashita. Got a room for a party of four? Uh, sir, did anyone refer you to us? Nah, we were just passing by. Thought the place looked good. I'm sorry, but this bar is members only. You need a referral from one of our existing customers, or from a hostess. Really? This place doesn't look anywhere near fancy enough for all that. Regardless of how it looks, you still need a membership to enter, so I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait, can you just sign us up for the membership? I'm not able to do that either. And may I ask, are you with the police? What makes you think that? I've been in this job long enough to know a cop when I see one. Is our establishment under suspicion of anything? What, like hiring... Illegal immigrants? Was that what you're worried about? Rest easy. We're not with police or immigration. I hope not. But even if you aren't, rules are still rules. I can't make any exceptions. I really must ask you to leave. 
Wait, didn't you say a hostess can give a referral? That's correct. Do you know someone who works here? No, but how about this? I will work as a hostess here starting right now. And I'll give my referral to these three. How about that? <laughs> huh? We're a Chinese pub, so our hostesses must either be Chinese or of Chinese descent. Well, I was born in Japan, but my parents are Chinese. So rest assured, I am very much of Chinese descent, my new fellow co-worker. You sure that's true? Um, isn't this decision a bit above your pay grade? And you're accusing me of lying? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I hope not. Now let me talk to the manager, please. I need to tell him how you turned away a fantastic hostess, and even worse, dismissed her heritage. Wait, I, I get it, okay? Let me go talk to the manager. You still have to pass an interview to be hired on a trial basis. Of course. I'm ready when the manager is. Are you sure about going in alone like this? It's the enemy's home base. You never know what could happen. You guys have already been risking your lives. I'm ready to join the club. And don't worry, I can take care of myself. All right, but be careful, will ya? I will. I've dealt with a lot of trouble in my years of hostessing. I'll call you once I'm in. Is this really gonna work? Well, let's have a little faith in Sachan. Hey. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Hey.
There's some shepherd's purse here. Shepherd's purse? It's a weed. That's pretty good when you boil it up and put it into a bro. <laughs> Look, there's some shepherd's purse here. Shepherd's purse? It's a weed. That's pretty good when you boil it up and put it into a broth. You can get fish mint, vetch, and mugwort from this part of town, too. Wow, you know your weeds, huh, Namba? Well, I didn't learn it overnight. Nearly killed myself a couple times. Still, I got better at telling which was which over time. Now I've got a pretty good idea of things. The more dangerous they look, the better the taste. You know, the first guy to eat sea urchin must have been a little something like you. That's not a compliment, is it? Anybody here? Hey! Excuse me! You need something? Uh, I heard you can fix bats. Do you, uh, work here? Yep. I'm Sumire Sawa. I run this place, if you can believe that. You're the manager? What? Having second thoughts because the manager's a girl? No, not really. So, this what you want fixed? This bat? Looks to me like it's been sitting around for a while. It's pretty rusty, too. Yeah, it's something I picked up. Still, it's special to me. <gasps> Hold on. This bat. Is this from the Hero series? Huh? The hell's that? It's a really, really rare bat that was only in production for a limited time thanks to the manufacturer going bankrupt. I can't believe I've seen one with my own eyes. Oh, wow, 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 Please let me fix it. Just this once. I promise I'll make it special. I'll even do it for free. Whoa, really? Yeah. Fixing up something as rare as this would be a dream come true. I'd be honored. <laughs> hey, thanks. Great. I'll get to work right away. <laughs> Holy shit, let's do this! Oh. Looking good. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. Phew. That's some energy you got. 
I used to be a bit of a punk, so I tend to get pretty riled up about stuff. Anyway, here. Thanks for waiting. Yo! That thing looks like it's brand new! <laughs> and that's not all. To make sure it won't get all dinged up in the future, I added a special coating. That little beauty should be harder and more durable than ever. Thanks. I'll put it to good use. You sure are talented, you know that? <laughs> well, I definitely know how to fix things. Management's a different story, though. Yeah, now that you mention it, this place is pretty empty. I'm guessing you haven't been getting much business. Much? Try none at all. Nowadays, it's normal to toss clothes and things out if they're ripped or broken or whatever. People don't really get things fixed anymore. And as much as my dad tried to keep this place going, he wasn't very good at it. He wasn't good with money and got in a lot of debt. Had to sell most of our machinery to pay it off. So, pretty much all that's left is the stuff no one would buy. That limited what jobs we could take, and as a result, we kept losing more and more business. That's rough. But I really love this job. I love being here. My granddad who opened this place was a really skilled technician. He's been a constant inspiration to me, even long after he passed away. This place is all I have left of him, and I don't want to lose it. My dad may have thrown in the towel, but that doesn't mean I can't keep trying. I think I might be at my limit, though. I guess we're just in a time where we're not needed anymore. Me or this shop. Yeah, well, I don't know about all that. But look at it this way. You've been doing the best you possibly can. And maybe you're at rock bottom right now, but that doesn't mean you won't make it out eventually, right? Huh? I mean, maybe it ain't all that convincing coming from a guy who just barely got out of being homeless. But at the very least, I plan to keep coming back here to have you work on shit for me. Don't forget that, all right? <laughs> You've got a lot of spirit. Don't see that too much anymore. What's your name? Ichiban Kasuga. All right, Kasuga-san. If you really mean that, then you're welcome anytime. Whether it's a bat or something else, I'll make it better than new. But this time's the only free one, okay? Yeah, sure. I'll be counting on you, Sumi Rachan.